Hi everybody, it's Crafts for Reborns, also known as Near and Far Nursery, and I'm so excited because I have a box opening today. And I had to take a minute to show you the box. I've actually taken everything out of the box because the box is quite heavy, just to be able to show you uh, what, a, what a cool job Rachel does with her boxes. This is Scraps, the Patchwork Girl of Oz, my fourth Reborn, fourth, that I ever made. And um, I did all of her painting and did her yarn wig and I had sent her to Rachel for Rachel to make her a custom body and a custom outfit. And Rachel really went way above and beyond that too. She mentored me, she really helped me um, come up with some techniques that made this doll fantastic. And this is the way her box came. So. First of all, we have Rachel's logo there, which I, I just love. I'm sorry, I have a terrible, terrible camera. But um, it's Orange Grove Nursery Reborn Art Dolls with character. I love the, the movie, the movie reel there. And then this is the logo she made for me, which I love. Near and Far Nursery. I love the house and the, the, the house house and the toadstool house because that's really, really describes me. Um, and my nursery, uh, I just, I love to make both realistic and fantasy dolls, and it's just, when I'm making a realistic doll, I, all I can think of is making the next fantasy doll, and when I'm making a fantasy doll, I'll, all I can think of is the next realistic doll. And then she put all around the outside these beautiful illustrations by, um, John R.R. R. Neal. These are from the classic Patchwork Girl the book I had growing up. My grandmother was really big on um, antiquarian books, so I had the original one. And I love his illustrations, and that's how I fell in love with this character of the Patchwork Girl of Oz. And that's what she's supposed to look like. And so now you get to see Rachel and my interpretation of that character. So first of all, I have to share with you the Certificate of Adoption, which she made especially for me. This is a lot like the ones that come with her babies, but again, it's got my little logo she made for me, which is so cute. And then hers on there, her signature and a place for mine. And you can see she was born on the 15th day of August 2015. She's the Jade Kit by Romy Striden, 22 inches and weighs about 4 pounds. So let's get to the baby. There we go. Moving from behind the camera to the side of the camera. I was going to go into school today. I really should be in school today. I have lots to do, but I'm glad I was here. So, okay. It says, Carrie, thank you for letting me be a part of Scraps Creation. It was fun bringing your kid to life. I know you're going to enjoy having this little sweetie in your family. Give hugs to Alora and Juniper for me. Whoop. Haldir says hugs to Rachel. So Alora Dannon is uh, the first doll she ever made for me, and Juniper the Hobbit is the second. And Haldir is her. She made Haldir and Juniper at the same time. Haldir is an elf, uh, and Juniper is a hobbit. <coughs> Ooh. Oh, I think it's a pacifier clip. <laughs> Look at that. How cute is that? I love pacifiers. I think pacifiers are my favorite accessory um, for reborn dolls. Whoop. Honestly. Oh, that's so cool. And then some little hair ties. Oh, no, no, no. They're not just little hair ties. Oh, my goodness gracious. They are little hair ties. These are, I think these are the ones I actually sent with her. And she's put some cute buttons on them. You read my mind, Rachel. That's actually what I was thinking of doing with her clothes, is putting like different color buttons and things on them. Oh my goodness. Great minds think alike. And then, <laughs> another thing she's tended to do a lot lately is send these beautiful Joanne bags. I've got one with uh, 
that Juniper came in that um, has birds and butterflies all over it because that was uh, Juniper's theme and this is patchwork. She's a big girl. Get over there. And then, whoops. That's what you get from moving from behind the camera to the side of the camera. And she's wrapped it up really nicely. Goodness, you didn't. She made this blanket. I was not expecting a blanket. I was <laughs> expecting. <laughs> I was expecting um, an outfit. <laughs> body. But look at this beautiful blanket. I love it. It just. Oh, it so embodies her. Just the the rough nature of the patchwork and the. Oh, I love it with all the little stitching, different kinds of stitching. And look at this great, look at these great ribbons. Oh, they're awesome. They're, they're going to be great to put in her hair. Look at that. There's that one. <laughs> this is, she's got a bunch of school themed ones. Cause this is my back to school baby. Now that I'm going, I'm a teacher, now that I'm going back, I'm not going to have a lot of time to be a creative sort of person. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I just want to turn, keep turning the blanket over. All these different, you did, I hope you didn't actually make this because, like, from scratch, this is like, oh my gosh, I think she did, because look, that's from, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to cry. That's from uh, Juniper's uh, little outfit. I recognize that. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. The little dog on there. Gosh. All right. <laughs> what a way to end a great summer so beautiful. Oh, no, you did not. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't know if you, if you guys can see this. Oh, my word. Sort of. Let me move this up a little bit more. She embroidered the the logo for the nursery on the blanket. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry. She has, uh, Rachel has her own embroidered blanket that's in shades of, that's in stage of orange because she's Orange Grove Nursery. And then she made one for me. I just can't stand it. I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, now let's get to scraps. <laughs> Poor scrappy girl. Okay. Let's see. Well, we got a good shot of her. Here's her cute <laughs> shoes that she made for her. Now, scraps has, um, has red shoes. It says in the books her shoes are, are red. I don't know what L. Frank Baum has, you know, with special shoes. He's really big on special shoes. And there's her little bloomers. Move her up. Those are so cute. They look just like the picture. And she's made her some, like, I'm not sure if these are, I think they're like socks. They're so cute. I don't want to, I don't want to take them off to show my painting. This is not about, you know, my painting. And here is her dress. This is the most amazing dress I have ever seen. Oh, I can't even believe it. Wow. 
that is just amazing. That looks just like her. And I love Rachel. I love how she's weighted. Um, I asked Rachel to make her kind of, not kind of, but light and floppy. Because to me, that's what the Patchwork Girl is. So this is an excuse for her. And she is, she is so, such a cuddle bug. And then there's her hair, which she kind of fixed up for me. And she's <laughs> these gorgeous, these gorgeously decorated uh, at the um, little ties at the end. Oh my word! And she rooted her with some eyelashes for me, some purple eyelashes. And oh, I just love, I love it. I love her. Uh, I absolutely love her. I don't know how you guys can see her. Let's see if I can move the camera around a little bit. I am the worst filmmaker in the history of the world. Oh, uh, Rachel, you always exceed my expectations. You seriously, you seriously do. So, thank you so much. Let me see if I can move her over a little bit if you didn't get a really good look at the at the logo that she made. Sorry. One-handed camera work. You guys are familiar with that. So here we go. Here's the near with the house and the far with the little toadstool house. So thank you so much for tuning in, guys, and thank you so much, Rachel. Uh, thank you, thank you. I just, I can't. There just, just aren't any words. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye. TTFN.